A friend of ours got into bird watching a while back. I enjoy watching and identifying birds, but I'm not someone who ticks them off on a list with dates and times. If they happen to be within range, I get the binoculars out, and if they don't appear, well, that's up to them. Our friend uses technology. He finds a bird's song on the web and then plays it on his phone in the right kind of terrain. The feathered victim believes there's a rival or a potential mate in the area and duly turns up, and my friend registers another bird on his list. This bird was one I recorded while we were away. Wonderful liquid notes emerging from nearby undergrowth. I still not found out what it was. Warbler of some kind? Or could it even be a nightingale? I tried really hard to spot it hidden in the leaves. But even searching the net for possible songsters, I couldn't nail it. I know nightingales are notoriously difficult to see. And when you do see them, they're rather plain and brown. Whatever bird it was, this song was stunningly beautiful and its singer frustratingly hidden. I wondered about the human search for God and how human beings so often have to work with hints rather than certainties. In Psalm 45, the poet acknowledges the whole story of God is beyond all searching out. It's hidden, but the seeker is not left with nothing. God's mercy is said to be over all his creatures. Sometimes what we can see, or even just hear, is given by God to pour forth the story of God's abundant kindness. The bird's song spoke to me of God's wonderful deeds in creation. So for the moment, I didn't really need to know who was singing. Lord, reassure me that you are near to all who call upon your name, and that even in times when I don't fully understand, your love will still find ways to speak of your majesty. Amen.